Starting next Tuesday, Minnesota will officially see some big changes when it comes to the use of cannabis. News 19's Chandler Brindley was in Winona today to find out what sort of impact some are now expecting. August 1st marks the first day of legalization of recreational marijuana in the state of Minnesota. The legalization of cannabis is leading to some concerns and changes that are being made to cater the law. You have to be 21 years or older, um, possess and transport two ounces in your home. You can have up to two pounds. You can have eight plants growing in your residence with only four of them being mature at any time. Because of the change, Sheriff Ganrude says there is some training that law enforcement will need to go through. Yeah, we've, we've had discussions and we're going to have to provide training, whether it's through the county attorney or through the Ser Sheriff's Association, but we're going to need more drug recognition experts, DREs. We only have a couple and we're going to need to have more on staff so that we have somebody working most of the time that has that expertise. What does this training include? It's not just for marijuana, but it's, it's for uh, any controlled substance, but impairment of any kind. And we send them to school, and they, ended up, they end up going out of state to actually test people that uh, are known addicts. Minnesota becomes the 23rd state to make marijuana legal in the United States, and the third in the Midwest, joining Michigan and Illinois. We had sheriff, a sheriff uh, specifically come in from Colorado to talk to us about, you know, the the problems that they had once they legalized it and the st statistics there show they went from from 55 um, serious crashes, fatal crashes, to over 155. Winona State University will not be altering its substance policy with the law change, but rather this gives an opportunity for updating terminology. As far as our campus policies and procedures, we will update them to include with our um, non-use or it being prohibited drugs, alcohol, and now we will name it marijuana. McDowell says the university will look to other states for changes to its protocol regarding substance use. Minnesota isn't the first one to go on this adventure. Uh, we can look to our neighbor in, in Michigan we can look to our neighbors in Colorado. So one of the things I think is most interesting about this, we are not the pioneers. So we can look to them and see what are some of the challenges and opportunities they experienced, and we can ask to adapt or adopt some of what they did as we're tweaking our policies and procedures. Reporting in Minnesota, I'm Chandler Brindley, News 19. And Sheriff Ganrud says that this law is similar to the open bottle law for alcohol and will be treated the same.